This is the last episode of my Raspberry Pi security camera project, and finally, we get to the good stuff. In case you've been unfortunate enough to have not been following along, here's a nice little playlist to get you all caught up. All right, let's see what we're gonna need for this marginally neato finale. You're gonna need your Raspberry Pi and webcam set up, some type of case or mount, and a five volt power source to power the whole thing. Ready? It's tinker time right after these itty bitty software tweaks. All right, with your Wi-Fi card plugged in and your Pi booted up to the desktop, right click on the Wi-Fi icon and select the configuration option. Choose WLAN from the drop down menu and set a static IP address that isn't being used by any other device on your network. Then open up a command prompt. What we want to do is auto start our Python script and there are several different ways to accomplish that. What worked well for me is to launch it right after the Pi boots up to the desktop. So type this in to get to the list of auto starting programs and then type this, where this is the installation path and this is the path to your Python script. After you save it, rebooting the Pi should auto launch the security camera script. And with that, we are done with the programming side of things and we can finally take stuff apart. This is a cheap dummy security camera that I got on Amazon. It's really easy to disassemble and it has some cool LEDs that could be useful, but I'm going to ignore them for this project. It's hollow in the middle and it's the perfect width for the Raspberry Pi. And knocking out this faux lens gives me the perfect place to mount the camera module. Now obviously our Raspberry Pi is going to need a power source, and a general 5 volt micro USB plug should work just fine. But in the case of a power outage, it'd be nice to have a backup power source. Enter the 4000 milliamp hour emergency charger. This should power the Pi for at least four hours on a full charge. But unfortunately, it doesn't quite fit in the security camera. However, taking the battery component out of the casing gives us a nice snug fit. But now this creates another problem. Plugging it into the Raspberry Pi makes it too wide to fit into the casing. So an alternate way to power it is through the GPIO ports using these two pins. So I unsoldered the micro USB adapter and replaced it with these two wires, making sure not to confuse the ground and power wires. Plugging it in successfully powers up the Pi and now we can run a 5 volt micro USB cable through the back of the casing to the battery charger. This is the recommended setup. However, I went a little bit crazy and wired it up to 5 volt solar panel to charge it with sunlight. The only problem is that the battery only lasts for about 4 hours. So unless you're in a location where your nights are only four hours long, this isn't a very practical solution. Now it's time to fit everything into the casing, hot glue it into place, wire it up, and put everything back together. You can tell that it's on whenever you see the red light on the front of the camera. Now all you have to do is put it in an area that you want monitored, type in the Pi's IP address in the webcam port on a different computer to pull up the stream, and then if motion is detected, you should get a notification email. I know that this was a long and sometimes boring project, but hopefully in the process you learned a little bit about email servers, Python programming, and computer vision. If not, please forward your complaints to the KitK YouTube channel. Just kidding. Kind of. If you need more help, you can get a step-by-step -step guide on the project page found at this link. What idea would you like me to cover next? Submit or vote for your favorites at tinkernut.com ideas. Click here to watch my last video, and if you'd like to support my show, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, or donate at tinkernut.com donate. All right, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.